there's this concept that is called EC2 pools. And it, it basically means that there is the collection of all the EC2 compute instances. And out of all of those instances, some of them would be used for on-demand purposes by some customers, while others are just sitting there doing nothing, right? And that spare capacity is the capacity that is used in order to provide the available spot capacity of instances at a, at a reduced price. So these pools, if uh, the way they describe them is that each type of instance, for example, here we can see M5 large, that's one type of instance. In each availability zone, so in a region you have multiple of these. In this case, we're looking at a US East 1A. 1B would be a different availability zone. In each availability zone, and of course, every re region is different and family is different, but that is implied by the instance type and the availability zone. So for that pair of variables, you get one pool. And if you want to tap into multiple pools, you would need to go into diversify your choice of instances. And of course, the more pools you tap into, the less the risk of having some of your instances go, go away. I mean, if you are using spot instances, your instances are guaranteed to, at some point, be terminated and taken away from you. But if you diversify your workloads across multiple different uh, pools of instances, then having all of them go away at a one single moment in time is very, very, very unlikely. To be honest, if you're just looking at specific spot instances that you're running, most of the time, like 95% of the hours in a month, they would not be affected by any kind of terminations. So most of the time they're just sitting there serving your customers, serving your traffic or your workloads at a much reduced cost. But from time to time, they will be terminated and they will be taken away. 